Well, Thursday, Thursday, it's that time again. Another segment of fishing tips tonight. Ray and Mandy will demonstrate how to safely release a fish. Tonight we're going to talk about the importance of a proper way to release a fish. Uh, Mandy and I both believe that these are limited, valuable resources and we need to do everything we can to take care of them in the best manner that we possibly can. That means not just throwing it overboard or banging along the top of the water. There's a lot of ways to take care of fish. Fish get their oxygen through water. And a good test sometime is when you catch a fish, hold your breath. Take the fish out of the water and see how you start feeling before you get that fish off the hook and put them back in the water. You'll see that time is very important, but so is technique. So Mandy's going to show us a little bit about technique. As Ray said previously, time is all of the essence when you're you know, safely re releasing these fish. So you want to do it easily, you want to do it quickly, and you want to do it safely. I got a little buck on here. Let's get him up here. Safely grab largemouth bass under the bottom lip. Be careful, you know, to take the hook out easily. Um, larger fish, I would say, if you want to take a photo, support them underneath. But most importantly, don't ever grab them by the eyes. Don't grab them by the gill plates. Obviously, that's where they get their oxygen. It's their lung system. Try not to drop them or grope them too much on their body. They have a protective slime, and we want to make sure that they're happy and healthy. When releasing them, don't throw them over the side of the boat. Get down and release them gently into the water. So Mandy has shown you a, a proper way to release a bass. If you're catching northern pike or if you're catching a muskie and you don't want to take it in the boat for any reason, it's better to try to release it right in the net and not actually even put it in the boat. In fact, the bigger these fish are, the more stress we put on them when we pick them up. And it's highly recommended if you're taking pictures of bass uh, to do what Mandy did, said. But if you're taking pictures of northerns oh, or uh, muskies, usually we hold them underneath to support their bodies so we don't put too much pressure on them. So also remember not to put your hands around their mouths. You can put your hands around the mouth of a bass, but please don't do that around a northern pike or a muskie. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.